I think it's going to be a rough match for Eli. He's going to have to try to hold down Aries and not let him get much done. Which Snake definitely has the tools to do. Grenade placement's pretty good from Eli. And got hit with a string of all days. Gotta have a really calculated approach against Steve. The back air breaks all of the blocks on its way by. Low profiles with down tilt. Back to mining. Dash attack made it under the one block. Table's gone. The disadvantage will have it. Scrap table still not in play. Up smash hits, not gonna kill. 124 on Eli right now. 77 on Aerie. Almost 150 on Eli. Snake's a heavy guy though. He can handle a few hits. Up tilt connects, but it's not gonna kill and not quite yet. Grenade whiffs. Eli really is looking for that one that one hit to end it. The down smash did not connect. He's going to get back. Up throw. Trying to lock him with the grenade. Mine cart doesn't go anywhere. Up smash below platform. Two high percent targets. Forward throw. All right, here we see the Nikita. Nikita does not connect. Up throw will kill. Back to mining. Aries keeping the game plan simple. Ooh, connects the grenade into up air. The air dodge down counted as attack, right? Oh, went for the, wow, he went for the spike right there. He was trying to end that man. Diamond tools out. Peak damage output. Not a lot of resources though. Gotta build that back up. Dash attack through it. Grenade caught the minecart midair. They clashed and the minecart was destroyed. Oh, almost. Eli seemed to uh, fully understand how he needs to play this to get this right. Mi moving a lot to get around where Aries thinks he can be. Wave bouncing with grenades. Gets him with the C4. He's mixing up his movement a lot, which is doing him a lot of favors. Eli really working around what Aries is doing and what Steve can do. Although Steve waited for him to get through that uh, one block. C4's out. Wow, rollout. Knew he was going to run in for it. Hit him with the F smash. Tell him not to come here right here. Good read on the air dodge for a down smash. He knew that he knew the dash attack was coming. Eli had done it a couple times before. Tossed the grenade while he was falling. Grab not connecting, but the grenade into back air will. Left the grenade on the ground. Just mind it back, get all your resources. Waited for him to break the wall for him with the F smash that he thought was going to come from the dash attack. We're reading into a level of mind game. Back here stops the cart in startup. Go up, just completely disengage from the situation. Very good choice. Oh my god. Had the grenade in his hand, but he was in the mind cart. Back here's going to take it though. Oh, barely not. Up tilt? Does it, yeah. He was waiting. Aries had to make a really, really hard choice on where he wanted to land, and Eli was just ready with that up tilt. It's homing in on him. Good games from both. Very, very, uh, the neutral started very uh, rough for Eli, but Eli quickly adapted to where Aries wanted to be and how he was playing. Uh, Aries making a few adaptations of himself, like in those situations where he had to break through the wall of stone. The F smash to catch him and the, the bait on the F smash to break the wall. It's still his attempt on dash attack still got shielded, but 
They're both thinking about it. We go to small battlefield. the five one. Using the grenades as area denial rather than tools to rather projectile damage. Good toss in that grenade. Barely going over the wall. He's still racking up more percent from that one combo. Oh, the spike on the mine cart. Very unfortunate for Eli. Alright, he's back. He's back. Oh, he's at the funny percent. There he goes. Nade. <clears throat> they can even a little haywire. Up tilt, not going to connect. Oh, he spot dodged the grab. Knew what Eli wanted. And the C4 killed himself with it. You hate to see it. All right, Diamond's on the field. He charged the smash attack. Not going to kill, though. Kept the C4 in his mind. Still not going to kill the forward air. Live at 125. Low profiles, down tilt, barely able to connect. Now, Aries definitely controlling the stage. Realize what Eli was doing last game to get around him and how he was playing around with his movement. He said, all right, well, I'm going to take you somewhere small where you can't really move as much. And uh, I can definitely hit you. Do we see these combos? 80% on uh, Eli right now. Almost 100. Gold tools in play. He's just going to try to mine for that diamond. Yup, there it is. Play it slow, play it cool. Both players. There you go. Keep mining, keep mining. Get your resources back. Eli is not really sure how he wants to approach. He's had one stock with 100% on him, or almost 110. A straight, a bad hit could kill him. Back throw. Up tilt out of Nikita when they clash with the minecart. Forward throw. 125 on Eli. That grenade came bouncing back because it hit the wall. Very, very good grenade there from uh, Eli. Trying his best to move as while he can to just stay away from Aries and everything he can uh, and stay away while still being aggressive. It's approaching aggressively while defensively. Spotted that the wall, the one block in the middle was going to break first. He tossed a grenade through it and exploded in that spot. Back here, playing really well with these grenades, but he's at 156. Next hit could kill him. Dash attack, gets grabbed, up throw, not going to kill Snakes, too heavy. Wave bounce to get away, back to the other side of the stage, almost killed himself with his own grenade. C4, back throw at ledge, Nikita, where's it going? Clash with the minecart, up smash, minecarts again. Both them to do that one thing, but is it too hard? He hit the Cypher with forward air. Oh, minecart kills. Yep. Very intense last stock from both players. Eli playing very, very well using the arcs that he can throw those grenades at to get around uh, Aries and uh, all the bombs and minecarts and uh, walls he was building. Sneaking little grenades through the holes in, wall in walls that uh, Aries was building. But Aries was able to just keep him out and only went in when he really needed to get his combo and then after that he was able to just uh, get his resources back build up make an attempt to kill him and uh, use the resources on that to be, uh, mine the resources back good spot dodge to dodge the up tilt would have been a, a lot of damage if he got hit with that grenade combo breaker 
forward throw to keep him from throwing the grenade away. Back air, 87% on Aries right now. He blew himself up on the back roll. Very, very good from Eli. Kind of tough from Aries. He didn't, it seems that like he didn't see the C4 there. C4 almost taking out Ares, but he was just a little over it on a block. That minecart's still active. You gotta remember that. If your feet aren't planted, it's just gonna hit you. Spike, but good DI in to keep himself from getting uh, taken off the edge. C4 in play, pressure, pressure play, and redstone involved. Oh my, Nikita. Way down with Nikita. Didn't quite work out for him. He ended up dying with the uh, two way forward air. He picked up the grenade with that forward tilt. Oh my god. Eli, these combo breaking grenades leading into actual damage. Not even just combo breakers anymore. Way bounce the grenade, get them both. Cover his, uh, cover his recovery. Staying just outside of where uh, the danger zone is on that. Now both players trying to get, uh, he tried to drop through the platform and he was on a block. These grenade arts, the grenade throw arts have been so good from Eli. He's putting these grenades exactly where they need to be. Like even on that, he trades with he trades with uh, Ares on that grenade. Even when he dies, he still gets that extra little bit of damage. 81% on Ares, Eli just started his last stock. And the C4 was on main plat and he couldn't quite get around it. Too much for Ares to deal with there. Good games from both players, Eli will take it. Now we saw two solid game plans going up against each other.